Well, up, fellas, you know who it is. So, in a few of my videos, I mentioned that not to hit a, hit one hit a woman or not to raise your voice at women, right? I mentioned that before. I said, guys, don't hit women. I'm not advocating hitting women. I'm not telling you guys to raise your voice. Don't raise your voice, etc., etc. I always talk about giving women an option. Hey. This is my rules, this is my regulations, this is how I want to live my life, how I want us to work out, this is how I want the relationship to work out. If you comply with it, great. If you don't, that's great too. I'm just not going to be in it with you. You're going to go find somebody else. You're giving her an, giving her an option. Well, I want to I elaborate on that today, about not hitting women and not raising your voice at them. But before I start, pause the video and let me know in the comment section below, what do you think when that question comes up. What's your answer? Should you ever hit a woman? All right, now that you have answered that, in your head or in the comment section, wherever, I don't care. Fellas, before I tell you guys that, oh, we live in 2020, so everything is equal now, but when we used to live in 1920, things weren't equal, so back then, you, are not, you shouldn't be hitting a woman this, that, and the other. Fellas, back then is when we were hitting women more than we are hitting them now. So what does that tell you? That tells you that women knew their spot back then. Women back in the 1920s were not masculine. We all know this, right? So if it was okay for us to hit women when they were not feminine, sorry, when they were not masculine when they were actually feminine back in the 1920s if it was okay for men to hit women i'm not telling i'm not setting a premise here i'm not setting any kind of plot here i'm not setting anything up here i'm not telling you guys what the women did i'm not telling you guys uh why she got hit if she hit the man or if she was threatening the man for his life i'm not saying any of that shit all i'm saying that if it was okay for a man to hit a woman back then when women actually were feminine then why the fuck do we not hit these bitches and beat the shit out of them when they dare to raise their fucking hands on us why i want answers i really want answers we need answers anybody can come in here and, and give me some answer anybody i don't care who you are just tell me your opinion tell me why we can't do it now when now is when women want to be more equal than back then. So why is it not okay now? Where has the uh, strong and independent and equal rights bullshit have gone when it comes to taking a hit? Oh, I know where it has gone. Y'all want to be selective when it comes to equal rights, huh? That's where that has gone. You want to be able to vote, but the war should still, should still be fought by men because that's a man's job. You still want to hold your pussy hostage and dangle it on top of my head, move it around, play games with me, give me false hopes that you're going to let me in your pants and tell me that, oh, I'm not supposed to, I shouldn't have to give you up my, give you up my vagina. That's not what a woman is supposed to do, but I'm still supposed to pay for the date. Even, he, even in 2020. Really, that's what you're telling me. I'm heated, fellas. I'm really heated. Because I'm sick and tired of seeing these beta, beta uh, simps and white knight orbiters defending these thoughts even to this day. Back in the 1920s, if a, if, a, if a dude defended a woman, okay, I understand. Fellas, I'm not saying that abuse is okay from any side. But hitting a woman doesn't necessarily mean you're abusing her. If she puts your hands on you, you best believe that she's taking rights and lefts. She's getting the equal rights and the lefts. Especially in 2020. Oh, hell yes. You best believe. I don't give a fuck what, what anybody says in here. I don't care what your favorite content creator tells you. Oh, you shouldn't hit women or go. No, 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 baby girl. You hit me, you're going to take the fucking consequences point blank period now you can stay get on my face and curse me out till you bust a vein open in your throat i will not even touch you i will stay as calm as i can 
I won't say shit to you. I'll walk away from that. But as soon as you touch me, now it's on. As soon as you touch me, why do you, why is it on? Because only bitches who think that we should have equal rights and men and women are equal and we should also believe in equal outcomes. That's another point I'm going to get into after this one. Only those kind of bitches are the ones who will come in my face and dare to hit me. Because this, these bitches think that they're invincible. And most of the time, you'll see these bitches are white bitches. Why? Because society has put a blanket, a false blanket, a false sense of protection around white women. Black women don't have this. I hate talking about race, but we gotta mention it. We gotta address it for what it is. White women, white women have this audacity. That's why you see white bitches have so much more audacity than any other race of women. Especially if she's cute and pretty. Oh my God, yes. That's why you're starting to see more and more pretty girls, pretty white girls, are starting to become feminists. Fellas, it's just getting worse. I don't know. I have a fat roommate. And this motherfucker told me one day, oh, uh, the new generation of chicks are starting to become more and more conservative. The fuck they are? You out of your goddamn mind? These bitches are in high school, 16, 17 years old, has she slash her written on her Instagram bio. You know what that means, right? When, she, when, a, bitch, when a bitch writes she slash her, that means she's a feminist. That means she uh, recognizes that there are billions of sexes, billions of genders, and we're supposed to call her she and her. Not just by not just by actually looking at her, that, oh, she's actually a girl just by looking at her, but the fact that she's actually mentioning it, that the fact that she has to emphasize on the fact that she's a woman tells me that she recognizes 50 other genders. Only feminists do that shit. And I'm seeing this trend, this she slash her trend on bitches Instagram a lot more than I did three years ago. So no, this new generation is not becoming conservative. Maybe political conservativeness, I don't know. But when it comes to free, young, wild, and not even political, because Democrats usually don't, again, you know, we're going on a different tangent. I, don't, I hate talking about politics. Let's not talk about that. So this new generation is starting to become more and more feminist. They're going to become more and more uh, young, wild, and free-spirited hoes. That's what they're going to end up being. We all know this. So, yeah, it, it doesn't make sense to me. I want answers. Why? Like, who the fuck do you think you are, bitch? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I'm supposed to whine and die. You're not supposed to give me the pussy. But at the same time, we're equal, right? Y'all don't want equal opportunities. Y'all want equal outcomes. Ever since the invention of air conditioning happened, we started to see this trend of, uh, of, of feminism. You take air conditioning out of, the, any, out of any office building, any corporate America office building, and you'll see it's a matter of time chicks start to uh, quit. They're not going to work because it's uncomfortable. Bitches can't take uncomfortness, fellas. It's men who grind. It's, it's men who are designed to grind and take the money out of the dirt. Women aren't. Just take air conditioning out. You'll see how, how soon they shut the fuck up. How soon they stop going to colleges. Just take that out. I promise you. So you're telling me that you want to preach this strong and independent bullshit for everything else, but as soon as the smallest things goes wrong, aka the air conditioning breaking and the building not providing air conditioning anymore, you can't handle the stress anymore? That's what you're telling me? And I'm, and I'm supposed to take you serious after that, really. Really, girl. When, I, when, I, when we men live under trees because we, we become homeless, and we still don't give up. We still keep grinding and keep working. When we have to save half an apple and eat half of it in the morning and the other half at night. I know dudes who do that. Who are trying to make it in life. And I'm supposed to take you serious, really. No, 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 no. I'll give you equal opportunity, but I will not give you equal outcomes. We have the equal opportunity to go out and both pay to get to know each other because that's what you that's what you want to do right oh i don't know you and we should get to know each other first then who do, what kind of woman do you think i am i don't know maybe the one who opened her fucking legs to every hot guy quote unquote right came into our life fellas these women are nothing but 
walking contradictions. They're jokes. You can't take them seriously. You really can't. I don't know what the hell you guys are thinking. I don't know what the hell you guys are doing, but you just can't do that. Should you should you ever hit a woman, fellas? These women have the balls of these women have bigger balls than men nowadays. So you're technically fighting a man. Yes, you got to finish it. Yeah, physically that man is not as strong as an actual man. Most men even ain't that strong anymore. They're soy boys. But fellas, don't ever... This is just another shaming tactic. You know, this is just another controlling language that they use to control us men. Oh, you should never hit a woman. Never? You're telling me never. A bitch is pointing a gun at me. A bitch is chasing me around with a knife. I'm not supposed to hit her. Never. Really. This is just a controlling, uh, manipulating tactic, fellas. That's all it is. That's, that's the type of language that they're using against us. That's it. Why do they use that against us? Because women know that they are weak. They know that without the help of us or without downgrading us, they can't get on top of us. Have you noticed this? If women did not, if men, men is the one who gave women the power ever since feminism started. How do you think feminism started? After they rioted, after they went out on the streets and did bullshit, men gave them, gave them the power, came from capitalists. They saw that if women entered the workforce, labor costs would go down. They wouldn't have to pay the pay workers the same amount to do the same amount of work when you have more labors. Simple supply and demand 101. You have more su supply of labors, the demand goes down, so you don't have to pay labors anymore, as much anymore. So you keep the rest of the money in your pocket. So capitalists capitalized that opportunity. And after that, men started giving these women more and more power because men were in powerful positions. So without the help of men, these women ain't shit. Always remember that, always. It's always a strong man behind a strong woman, not the other way around. See how they say that behind a strong, uh, behind a strong man, there's a strong woman? There's a saying out there, isn't there? That's complete utter bullshit. Behind a strong woman, strong woman, right? What I'm really saying is behind a feminist woman, there's always a strong man who gave her that power. Without giving, without having shit handed to her, she wasn't be able to do anything by her own, ever. Anything. Just the fact that she's going to college, that opportunity was given to her by a man. Long time ago, a few decades ago, yeah, but it was given to her by a man. Women didn't earn that shit. Because they can't earn shit collectively. They need our help. Because we are the kings. Man, woman, I don't care who it is. If you put your hands on me, we're going to have a fucking problem. Point blank, period. So you should have you should have fucking thought this through before you came in here and thought that you're strong and independent. And before you thought that, oh, I get away with doing this kind of bullshit with every guy. So Zeke's going to be just like the rest of them. You should have thought that through. No, baby girl. You're fucking with the wrong guy today. Again, as I said, I won't, I won't do anything to you. I won't even say shit to you if you're on my face cursing me. And I'll just, I'll just ignore you. I'll move. But as soon as you touch me. And that's how I want you guys to think as well. I'm not saying... At the end of the day, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Believe in whatever the hell you want to believe in. Oh, I'm not a real man if I put my hand on a woman. Bro. But she can beat you. She can beat you up. What the fuck? The strong, uh, a real man is supposed to take a beating and walk away and not uh, stand up for himself, not have a backbone. That's what you're telling me. That's what you're telling me a real man is supposed to do. Really? Really? Okay, hey, buddy. If that, if that helps you sleep better at night, good for you. But when I see that these no good bitches are fooling us around are playing all sorts of games with us, are, are making us jump through all sorts of hoops, and still they get away with even hitting us physically? Get the... Dude. That's crossing the line. And we need to reestablish that line by giving you equal rights and equal lefts in both of your jaws, baby girl. Follow me on Instagram at ZeekPete.
Like, comment, subscribe, share this video to your friends. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.